Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to make an R console key system. So this is going to be a key system that runs in the console. So um, yeah. So here uh, I have just uh, Synapse's R console pulled up, which is what we're going to be using. This this docs are going to be in the description, and also we're going to make a pastebin link, which is going to be for storing the key. I just have a quick pastebin link here set up that just has a local key A and returns it. So you can go ahead and make this. Um, Although, I will warn you, uh, this will be vo uh, vulnerable to HTTP spy. So, to prevent that, what you need to do is just get an obfuscator that blocks it. So, there, it's not hard to find one. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So, uh, let's start here. <clears throat> so, the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and just make an uh, input variable just for our taking our input. And then we're going to make a thing that defines our key. So, let me go ahead. I have a link over here. This is just a load string to my key. Obviously, yours is going to be different, but this is just a load string to where my key is stored. It's the return thing that I showed you. Now we're going to make a function, and we're going to call it begin, and we're going to have it end. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do our console print, and this is going to be our message. So if we go ahead and take a quick look, um, you will see that um, in order to get colors, you have to call our console print, and then one of these color codes. So we're gonna call our uh, our console print, and we're gonna call uh we're gonna call uh at, at white at, at, which will call the white color code. And now since we're in white mode, uh we can we don't have to we can print in white now. We're gonna set our name. So I'm just gonna call it something like uh, this is gonna be the console name title. I'm gonna call it tutorial key system something like that. <clears throat> Uh, then we're going to do our console print, and this will print in white, because we define it. And we're going to make a link to get our key. This is just where you're going to put your, like, link link for ties or something. But, um, I don't really have a link for ties to put here, so I'm just going to put, like, some, like, uh, pastebin.com, something like that. Obviously, this is not going to be your link, but, yeah. Um, and then for a back, I need a backslash, and I use backslash for taking screenshots on my keyboard, so I'm just going to do that. And we're gonna do backslash and n to make a new line. Okay, so now we're gonna do our console print, and then we're gonna do a uh, thing for entering our key. So it's gonna be enter key, and then, uh, now we can get our input. So um, if we go ahead and check the docs real quick, you will see that if we scroll down here, we can. Uh, there's a, this is a function that will return the input that whatever the user puts in. So we're gonna go ahead and use this to. Um, Detect if we put in the right key or not. So we're going to do input, which is our function we made earlier, and we're going to have it equal to our console input, which is going to um, allow us to take in input and then it's going to output it to the variable. So we're going to do if input is equal to key, which is our key variable, then we're going to clear our console. We're going to print in uh, green. Or let's see if they have a, a light green real quick. Uh, let's see if they have a light green. Yeah, they do. Light underscore green. So we're going to go ahead and write uh, light underscore green. At, at. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put in our next line, which is going to just reset our name. So our console name. This is well, this is going to be our main script, so tutorial main script. Obviously, you can just put your script in here and close the console, but we're not going to do that. And we're going to make a new line here. Here we're going to add an else if statement, and we're going to check if input is not equal to key. Then... We're going to uh, go ahead and print in red. And then we're going to go ahead and print incorrect key. And put a new line. Oopsies. Then we're going to go ahead and set our, our, our console name. To wrong key and then we're gonna go ahead and clear our, co our, our console 
Um, and then we're going to go back to the function begin. Okay. And I'm going to add begin right here, which is just going to run this function for the first time. All right. So now let's go ahead and launch uh, a literal base plate and test it out. We're going to go ahead and just copy all of our code here and hit control C. Wait for this to load. And I'm just going to paste in the in-game console, although you can um, go ahead and just go ahead straight and just do it and just do it from your synapse console or from your studio, doesn't matter where you execute it. And here our console now opens up. Go ahead and go, go to our console. And if we enter a wrong thing, it will just send us right back. We're going to add a wait to fix that in a second. But um, if we enter the right key, which is cool key, it says welcome and bring us to our main one. Let's do a couple of tweaks to make it even better. So we're going to go ahead and just, um, when it says run key, we're going to wait two seconds. Or like, we're going to, yeah, wait two seconds. And then we're going to clear. And here we can put in a script here. So let me go ahead and just grab a random script. Okay, so if you don't want to do another console thing, what you can do is just like put something here. Okay, this is just a low string array field. Um, obviously, uh, you would probably, you. I mean, you could keep all this make sure you keep uh you could keep all of this or we're just you can just close the console so you can either have the, this and then have the console stay open or you can close the console what i'm gonna have is just i'm gonna just have the stay open and then just have it load that okay so um this seems pretty good let's go ahead and launch roblox here and then we're gonna go ahead and control a and control c and this should be our key system done let's check it out Okay, so let's go ahead and paste in our code and hit execute. Okay, um, so now if we go ahead and put in something like something wrong, it will say incorrect key. It will wait two seconds and it will bring us back. And we will have everything we put in already inputted. Um, like that, see? And there we go. So if we obviously put in like a bunch of random letters, it's still going to bring us back, which is cool. Now, if we go ahead and put in cool key, which is our main thing, it brings to our main script, and it actually executes uh, the whatever you put in. So this is just a example. This is just the script that I put in. Obviously, you put in your script, but um, this is just the script that I put in. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.